Max, here's a look at the little GS free ski. Alright, it was, you know, a short little pitch, so a ton to work with. Overall, a very good scan, right? Um, you're going to see a couple times we, we, we get the feet kind of close together as in the transition as they come under you. Right, so it's kind of hard to really roll up the skis until you kind of got into the fall line here and widen the feet. But once you widen them, it allows you to really roll them both up, matching angles. We've got nice level shoulders, which is which is great, right? We got some body angles, right? It looks like we have a long outside leg, short inside. Uh, that that is good stuff. Um, so another thing we, we want to try to work on is, is is getting to the new ski. We want to you know as soon as our direction is done um, on the old outside ski. Right now, we really want to move to that new one. It looks like you're just kind of hanging on a little too long on the outside. It's the old outside ski, old downhill, old, old downhill, and then immediately start that next turn. Um, so, you know, we you are skiing outside ski to outside ski, which we talk about a lot, but the sooner you can move to that new ski the better while it's currently uphill and we should have it where our little toe is still down right now so your direction is done there we're still kind of hanging on just a little bit it's very subtle You're not going to see you know hard to really determine but the faster we get to that new ski again end of the transition feet got a little tight right and they had to widen them right there so let's maintain a consistent width throughout turn and transition. Oh, hi, hi Max. How you doing there, buddy? Um, but, you know, good, good body position. You got ankle flexion. I like the way these are pretty much matching, right? Hands out in front. That's all pretty good. Don't need that. Kind of fell a little bit, looks like, to the inside here. You can see inside hand drop, shoulders not level. A little a frame but I don't know, whatever. That was one turn there. But again, feet got kind of close together at the top of the turn. So I did mention it to you that day to kind of, you know, let's try to widen the stance of hair. But in particular, we're talking about you know, maintaining that, that stance you've had, that stance width throughout the turn and transition, and particularly the top of the turn. But, so consistent width, let's, let's you know, that, like the outside ski drill, you know, we've got to move to the new ski as soon as direction's done while it's currently uphill. Um, transfer the weight, an active transfer to that, uh, the weight to that new ski. But overall, some pretty good skiing.